Libra. What it goddamn be, bruh? It is Scorpion Reds. I am back at it one more again. One more time for you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. To let you guys know what is popping off on you. So, for the month of August. Okay, but apparently I can't talk. Okay, listen. Let me get myself together, okay? So, again, we're here to find out what's going on in the month of August. Shout out to every one of y'all that clicked this video. Thank you so much for all of the likes, shares, and subscribes. Shout out to every one of my supporters. I want to give a big shout out to my baby girl, Callie. We got some new decks that just arrived. Listen for all my Power Ranger unicorns out here. Brow! Just like that. Brow! How you like me now, okay? Straight like that, okay? And for my Game of Thrones, you already know what it is. We got the tarot deck, and now we got the playing cards, honey. We is almost complete. The only thing we need them to do is come out with an Oracle deck. Listen, HBO, make an Oracle deck. Hello, somebody send a letter to HBO. Please, please and thank you. Okay, anyway, listen. We're reloading. Yeah, Y'all hit the booms down there. Did y'all put it in the chat? Boom. Okay, listen. Ooh. Not with my not 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 with my candle going out. I mean, I I didn't mean that type of boom. I mean, I need my I, I need my fire more fire more fire more fire upon the place. Please, please. Okay. Anyway, listen. If there is anyone at any point of time in this video, if this video resonates with you, if you guys want to book a video. A video reading with me you can connect with me if you click my about tab all right what you need to do is book and then link with me book and then link with me okay my hyperlink for my book and it says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me okay go ahead and click that select your reading and then link up with me my instagram link is directly below Go ahead and click that. Send me a personal private message. Say, hey, Reg, this is so-and-so. I um, schedule with you on this and that a day. And we will link on that day. And if I can get you. If you ask anyone that has had a personal reading with me. Whatever day y'all book. I typically get y'all that same day that y'all book. You know. So, yeah. Y'all just send me a message. And I'm going to get y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I got you. Now, if you guys do not have an Instagram and um, you want to connect with me on Google Hangouts, only thing you need is your email and my email, okay? So we don't have to exchange phone numbers. Uh, my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So after you book with me, link up with me on either Instagram or on Google Hangouts. If you do not want to get on camera, that's perfectly fine, okay? I really don't advise it because it's better if we can talk. But, you know, I understand. Sometimes people just be busy, okay? So what you need to do, once you book, Link with me and send me the question surrounding, you know, uh, the type of reading that you selected. Make sure that you only send me the question of what you want to know. Don't tell me the meat and potatoes surrounding why you're asking the question because I want to go into the energy blind and find out what spirit has to say. And then we can, you know, connect and talk about it afterwards. OK, um, also, if there's anyone that is uh, booking and we're having a live video chat, but you want me to record it so you can go back and watch it later and have a copy of it forever, you can have that as well. So um, anyone that is getting a pre-recorded video or a live recorded video, I will upload the videos to YouTube and we'll have a private exclusive link only directly to you and I. All right. And it'll be completely private and discreet. And then we can chat about everything later, okay? So if there's anyone that would like to send any love and support if these videos resonate and um, you want to send some support to the sub page, I have an Amazon wish list. And also you can um, support through PayPal. Shout out to my baby, Miss D, who sent um, a donation through PayPal. Thank you so much again, you guys. It helps me keep my booking page running. It just helps me keep things running around here. So thank you guys again for all of the support and love, especially if these videos. Thank you for everyone that emails me to let me know that the videos resonate and um for us to chat and i'm really really working on getting my live speaker back so that we can get this you know call in portion of um what i want to do with scorpion reds tarot up live on youtube so you know it's coming soon it's coming soon so enough of the chit chat let's get into the energy uh, let's just take a breath and clearly my candle does not want to stay lit y'all have to give me a second because I need I need I need I need let me just get a new candle y'all I like my candles alright so now 
now that we got that all out the way, let's just say a quick prayer. Father God, thank you so much for the divine energy. Thank you so much for all your hopes, your prayers, and your determination to push us through and pull us through this retrograde, Father God. Because let me tell you, it's been some gnarly energy. It's been some earth-shaking, tire moments been coming through in here for all of us in the name of Jesus, Father. Continue to keep your hands on us. Um, keep us steady. Keep us focused, Father God. Um, I know that these transitions that you're making in our lives, they... We might not be able to see it right now, but I know that um, the bigger picture will be revealed to us sooner, like a lot sooner than we realize it. Remember, you guys, when we walked into this year, we were screaming the divine feminine, take over the weights over. You understand? So, like I said, that was not going to come without trials and tribulations because at the end of the day we taking over things so it ain't like you can't just come through and just be like i'm the boss you know what i'm saying i mean you can but honey you gotta you gotta show your force you gotta show your power you know what i'm saying it's gonna be you say you the boss so let's see you know what i'm saying so father god bring us through um the end of this retrograde in the name of Jesus. Spirit fingers, spirit hands. Come on, put them up here because we tired of this, Father. Thank you so much. Go ahead and shut that down for us, Father, so we can bring forth these blessings in the name of Jesus. Father, I appreciate everything that you've been showing us. I thank you so much how you've been growing us. And thank you for the way that you've been taking the time to get to know us in this personal way. Thank you so much for the personal relationship that we have been developing with you, Father God. Thank you so much for the healing and the progression that we've been making in our life, Father. Please give us guidance for my Libras for the month of August. And thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Thank you again, Father God. Please give us guidance for my Libras. Um, hold on, please. Excuse me, that's my children. Give me guidance here for my Libras. Why every time we do the Libra read and um, Lizzo always come on? Truth Hurts always comes on every time I'm doing y'all reading. Like, y'all really, like, that is y'all summer anthem. I'm sorry. Y'all like, fuck no hot girl summer, no. We on some bullshit. We get look. I'ma hit you back in a minute. I don't play tag, bitch. We been this, okay? We gonna keep it pushing like I, 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 okay? Y'all said fuck a motherfucking hot girl summer, bitch. Wait, what the fuck is up with everyone getting this clear solution in the reverse? What the hell is up with everyone getting this card? Really? Give me one more. Tell me why. What is going on with this clear solution card? This is like the third reading that is. This is not about to be the ominous like theme throughout August. It, it, it can't be. This is like the third sign. Really? Give me guidance. Give me one more card, Father God, please. We gonna keep it pushing like I, I, I. Don't text me, tell that shit to my face. Stifle, bored, and stuck. Really, Libra? Hmm. I feel like some shit is growing old. Okay, so what I'm getting here, my Libras, I'm going to show you the cards in the upright. We have the Lantern Fairy and then the Violet Duchess. A clear solution, stifled, bored, and stuck. Okay? I feel like you guys... Y'all just can't think straight in this situation as you just feel like you're ex you're growing extremely tired and you're growing extremely tired and I want to go to that by the Duchess real quick, okay? 
the Violet Duchess. It says your desire to be liked, to be pleased, and to be seen as a lady or a gentleman is cheating yourself out of something wonderful that you deserve to experience. Sometimes there are rules that simply need to be broken. Now that damn sound. Don't that sound like a motherfucking leap? <laughs> Bitch! Y'all, here y'all go. Here y'all fucking go. Y'all like some shit is growing. Tire is growing. <gasps> oh, I'm almost scared. Let's get prepared, y'all. Hold on. Let's take a deep breath. Let's keep reading. Okay, bitch? Keeping the spirit of the law sometimes means breaking a letter of the law. That's how things change. <laughs> There's a situation at this moment that has revealed itself as unjust, unfair, and absolutely unattractive to you. But you have yet to, oh Jesus, Lord, have a mercy, help me, Jesus. You have yet to speak up. Oh, it looks like you done spoke up, honey. Because I was, this card is in the reverse, bitch. So you, okay, so anyway, it says the most inspiring thing about this situation is that you'll discover just how safe it is to stand up for what you truly believe in. Oh my God, my Libras did help the world, Jesus. It says others will be inspired to do so too. Oh Lord, and you're taking a legion of people with you. Power Ranger, power. Okay, oh my God. So while it feels like you're taking a risk at first, after a while you realize that you started a small revel. Fucking loop. bitch, I cannot with you. I am not playing with y'all because y'all already know how we be getting down in the Libra reading. Is it not irrelevant? The revolution needs to be televised, bitch. Everyone needs to subscribe, bitch. Get down or lay down. What? Oh, my Jesus in the name of God. Okay, Libra said the vibe feminine take over the weight is over. Something the fuck done happened and like something i'm trying to tell y'all something happened during this during this goddamn retrograde you understand and i feel like for a long time now it's not even for a long time because this is something recent this is something recent and even i can't say no for no long time because no uh-uh I just heard break away, break away. Y'all already done broke away, okay? So I feel like this is something recent where you guys just weren't able to have like a clear solution on this thing. Like you needed something to be illuminated and motherfucker, you think a tower moment ain't just run through this bitch like a hurricane and shake, wake, and rattle the motherfucker up and through this bitch. Oh, honey. Uh, Libra said, motherfucker, something is... Eh. You don't gave me gray hairs already. Okay. Hold on. Y'all know my y'all know my saying. We stay set on ready. We already know how to twist a nigga up like spaghetti. Okay. We we stay set on ready. Don't do us. Do not do us at all. Something. Listen. You became stifled, bold, and uh, somebody, some got unattractive real fucking quick, and you said, uh, uh. Shit, we all about breaking laws around this motherfucker. And whatever you was at first, because you didn't have a clear solution and you wasn't able to speak up. And you was like, hold up. <laughs> Load up the cat. We reloading. Like, what the fuck you, what? <laughs> and then you got Tia and Tamara playing in the back. Like, come on. Like, I swear to God, y'all, look, my Libras is my rebels. And get a shovel. Y'all about to put, dig a ditch for somebody. Y'all about to put some in a ditch. Come on, y'all. Come on. Y'all got T and Tamara coming out. They putting their titties out. They shaking them all about. Come on, y'all. What is going on? God, give me guidance. What the hell is going on with my Libras? They pulling their titties out and they shaking them all about. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to the car? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Okay. Bitch, Libra's like, bitch, do you hear me? Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to the flow? I'm about to time in the knot. I'm going to time in the bow. Bitch, can you hear me now? Queen of Swords, somebody done got y'all fucked up. <laughs> oh. 
Hold up. Y'all said, baby, the ship's done sailed. The ship's done motherfucking sailed, bitch. And I'm about to be the one to tell you about it, okay? All right? So I don't know. I'm about to call you a motherfucking Uber because I don't know what the fuck I can't do you. I'm about to buy you an Uber because I can't do you. I'm about to buy you an Uber because I can't do you. I can't do you. Get her an Uber. I can't do her. Okay, I can't do her. Ah, oh, girl. <laughs> this queen of goddamn swords said, um, because I, you know, I'm not able to see things clearly with you. You got me a little bit confused. You got me a little bit fucked up. And now you done seen my other side. Switch. Yeah, uh-huh. You was on the good side of graciousness. Switch. Yeah, you done turned my switch on. You done turned the bitch on. What you doing for? What you doing for, Cletus? What you doing for? You about to get the fuck on out of here? Let me call you a Uber, cause I can't do you. I can't do you. I can't do you, boo. I can't do you. You might need to get some counseling after where I'm about to cut your ass and collect you the fuck one together. You didn't know that this is the collector gather circle over here. We about to have church on your ass, okay? We about to go to church on your ass, okay? So I don't know who the fuck done fucked up with Libra, but we about to go to church on a say church tabernacle. Spirit fingers, say it with me. Church tabernacle. You see how um mm -hmm, Libra about to build some blocks and build some bricks on you. Go ahead and sit down, cause we about to have a moment. We about the moment, cause if you see this five of swords, you ain't gonna win here, Cletus. Go ahead and sit down, Cletus. Go ahead and sit down and let the rest of the collector gatherers tell you about how Libra run shit. You are playing in a lose-lose battle. You might as well sit down and think about what you're doing. Adjust your thoughts and your thinking. Because she's not the one to do it with. She's not, honey. What you do it for? Why'd you do it? Do you even know? Do you even know where you're about to go? The fuck out of here before you hurt yourself. You see how everyone is sitting here? Look, they done look, they done usher this poor boy to church. They said, now why didn't do, do you know that you done pissed off Cersei, bitch? You done pissed off Cersei, bitch. Okay, um, let me see here and give you some counsel. I'm about to give you an escape route so you can get the fuck up out of here before this bitch rise the fuck up on off this goddamn um <laughs> up off this throne and start calling her guards. To do whatever the fuck they about to do with you. Listen, little boy. Um, Let me just help you going over somewhere to safety. Because you're going to lose. You're going to lose big time right here, baby. I don't even know what the fuck. You're really crazy. What did you do? What did you do that for? These people are concerned about you, little Timothy. Little Timothy. Little George. Okay? <laughs> I just heard Frank. Frank. Okay? Little Timothy. Little George. Little Frank. Okay? Someone said, no, Frank. I said, okay, hold on, Frank. Okay? <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Someone came through and gave you a fortunate escape so you can go on with your life and have the Merry Christmas of Feliz Navidad and a Happy New Year. Okay? All right? All right, make a left turn. Make two lefts and go on to your best, okay? Make two lefts and go to your best, okay? Go this escape route, take two lefts and then, okay, you got me? Now, I don't, now, bitch, I don't want your head to be on a spike now. I don't want to be coming back with about a couple of eyes and they don't caught you and bitch your head on a spike. Now, I'm, I'm helping you out now, okay? So, so, so the Lord done came in and then scooped down and hovered over the situation and said, let me, let me remove this fool because we don't work so much on Libra. We don't want, listen, we don't want to bring Cersei out. We don't want Cersei about, why are you, what? Come on, now, we have worked, listen, Collector Gatherers, tell this person, we have worked so hard together, okay, why are you going to have us turn backwards when we have so, don't do that to us, eight of coins, you're going to, you're going to just throw all the hard work out of the window, 
Here, smoke some endo. Don't throw all the hard work out the window, Libra. Smoke some endo. Here, this is your friend. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road. Hold on. Um, here you go. You can go ahead and pass it. And back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Girl, I'm your friend. Don't throw off. You were so fortunate and blessed, Libra. Don't let this. Don't, don't, don't let little Timothy, little George, little Frank, whoever, little Tank, whoever the fuck this is. I don't even think this is little Tank. This is someone new, bitch. This is a, this is a young tender. Y'all been fucking with them young Jones. Y'all been fucking with them young Jones. Y'all been fucking with them young Jones. Libra. Now, Libra. <laughs> Let me say, but he looked it good. I said, now, Libra. I know Libra. Goddamn. Well, goddamn, goddamn. Okay? Now, Libra. Now, you know how the little Jones be. Libra said, bitch, that's why I called him a motherfucking Uber. Now, now, listen. <laughs> Motherfucker done pissed me off. Real quick. Why ain't been fucking with him for three months? Look, this shit grew old real quick. Girl. Look, monkey on a dig, monkey on a dig. Hey, wobble on a dig. Wobble up, wobble, wobble up, wobble on a... Listen, y'all terrible. Do y'all hear wobble in the back? Y'all terrible. Nintendo Cups, you was like I thought. <laughs> Wobble on a dig, wobble up, wobble, wobble up, wobble on a dig, wobble up, wobble, wobble up. They like, leave her like reds. I had this little young drone in my house. Look, we was lighting candles all around the house. We was having tantric sex. Look, I, girl, listen, you don't even understand. Libra, I understand. She was like, but bitch, that tower, I seen it coming, bitch. I seen it coming. So I just avoided it. That's why I said, now listen, let me send you an Uber. I ain't got time to do you. I see you on this immature shit, okay? Baby, please don't go. Please. Please don't go, stay right by my side, by my side, come on, <laughs> listen, don't, I know y'all just went the fuck off in the goddamn comments, where my immature fans are, don't, everybody over 35, y'all all right now, come on, baby, please don't go, please, don't. hold on, Batman, Batman, stay right by my side by my side Batman like bitch get off me okay fuck you <laughs> Batman said that was not too fulfilling for me I ain't like that why, why don't be rubbing on me like that y'all already know how Aries be y'all fucking with an Aries cause this is my fat man Batman from my Aries video is y'all fucking with an Aries face always something always be wrong with him girl that's uh you said if I had to listen, <laughs> we was lighting candles, okay? We was lighting candles, we was having a tantric sex, we was doing all the nasty, freak nasty shit, and nigga can last a long time. Lord Daddy can last a long time. I listen, I was all with it, okay? Look, I was wobbling on the day. Wobble, wobble, wobble. I was wobbling on the day. Oh, and look at nigga the full, <laughs> the full speeds and the full first. Listen, you was like, he was just a throwaway John real quick. That John was a throwaway. He got irritated real quick. All right, no one, look, he was a throwaway. Okay? That was a throwaway. Why y'all, okay, so who, who the fuck else was it that just had a hot girl summer? Leo? <laughs> <laughs> Is y'all having throwaways? Oh my God, you just threw this motherfucker away. You said Reds, I already knew this motherfucker was a throwaway. This motherfucker, listen, we was partying. We was having a lot of tantric sex. We was drinking a lot. This motherfucker was a, look, I like to have me a couple cocktails. This one like to have a, more than a lot of a, more than a lot of a, co a couple cocktails, okay? This motherfucker's a lush, okay? This nigga too young to be acting like that, okay? And then to show this ass real quick, I just went ahead and avoided that shit. Because I'm just like, I ain't listen. I ain't about to commit to that shit. Okay, baby? You was a throwaway. Wobble up. Wobble up. Wobble, wobble up. I call you when my phone get dried up. Like, come on. Y'all already know how motherfucking Libra go. Y'all already know where Libra go. But, like, I feel like this person, like, really irritated Libra, like, really quick. Libra, y'all. I told Didn't I tell y'all y'all had a tower moment? <laughs> but y'all avoided that shit. You said, uh-uh, I already said cracking a foundation. I ain't even, nope, I ain't got you to do. No, mm-mm, I'm sorry. Mm-mm, nope, nope, nope. I'm sorry. That's it. <laughs> Use these Game of Thrones playing card decks to clarify what's going on. So let's see what cards I want to clarify right here. So, um, 
Libra. Would it be, bruh? Let's see. Um, Libra. Would it be? So let's let's. Why for out about are you so mad, Cersei? Like who the fuck done? They done turned you into Cersei, honey. You said I'm gonna put this nigga in a hearse. I'm gonna put him in a hearse. Call me Big Cers. I'm gonna put him in a hearse. Call me Big Cers. Give me guidance on why Big Cers out here about to put niggas in the hearse. She told that nigga get out. Get the fuck out of my house. Well, that's not saying nothing too bad, though. Like, um, Big Sirs. That's not saying no. Well, let, let me keep this out. Okay, what's this? And then Ain't the Diamonds. Like, that's not saying nothing too bad. Why you put that man out like that? So, I feel, okay. What I'm feeling right here with this seven of hearts and i will clarify this because like i told y'all i'm still learning cardamancy okay so with this seven of hearts what i'm just getting right here is it was just like um there was a level of understanding and stuff like that but like you it was like it, i feel like it was just fun it was like an immediate withdrawal there i feel like it, i feel like with this with this with this five of, of of clubs i feel like you were like assessing the amount of work that you would have to put in to make this like i really do feel like you were dating someone that was younger than you and i really do feel like you were assessing the amount of work that you had to put into trying to teach this person something because that look okay yes you see what i'm saying like you just sent this person on their way because it's like i don't have time to teach you how not to piss me off. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, I feel like it was just certain shit that you shouldn't even have to explain to a man or explain to a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, it is, if this is a man watching um, something dealing with a woman, they felt like this woman was untruthful and was a liar and that this woman was holding a lot of secrets. And I feel like this person waited because the three of wands represent someone waiting for something i feel like you guys were waiting for something to work out but it was just like it was a lose-lose battle i mean it was a lose-lose battle it was emotionally fulfilling to a certain point but at the end of the day it needed to be more mutual and beneficial and i feel like it was going to be too much fucking work the you know the ten of diamonds i feel like the tens represent completions. Um, I really do feel like it was a good opportunity for something to kind of start off good, but I, I I feel like quickly it went from a ten of, a ten of diamonds to an eight of diamonds, where you were realizing that you needed to take caution and kind of assess and and re to assess your investments you know what i'm saying to pay attention to how you spending your money like this could have been a situation where this person was young maybe immature and eager and maybe not financially stable because i said this looks like someone that's younger than you and uh, you maybe felt like you were having to put out more money or you just you just didn't feel like this shit was balanced and like you said it was a little throwaway it was a little throwaway so let's let's clarify okay let's clarify let's go here and my trusted trusted and my trusted good old phone here to clarify let's see we want to do the seven of hearts first so let's see how close i was the seven of hearts means peaceful surroundings healing steady improvement happy surprises cycles of life a second chance an opportunity to redo something something that comes in twos so like i said i feel like you tried to give this person a second a, ch a second chance like i told you Things were not working out. Evidence is a man that was dealing with a woman that they felt was a liar, was hiding something and they felt like was untruthful and was manipulative and they didn't trust them and they were just waiting on things to get better and they were sitting up there trying to work things out with this three of, uh, you know, with this three of, of coins, this three of, yeah, with this three of coins here. But like I said, it was a double-edged sword. It was a losing, it was a lose-lose situation. They felt more fortunate if they just stop working on the situation you know what i'm saying it was fulfilling sexually and emotionally but as quick as it came in was as quick as it came out because you see these cracks in the foundation so you know this libra avoided that shit they avoided that shit because they quickly became unfulfilled and then they felt like the person was full of their self and it's like let me just throw this shit away like you was a throwaway for a hot girl a hot boy summer you know what i'm saying like real quick like uh-uh Looking at y'all here, looking at y'all here, Megan. 
the stallion in the back. <gasps> oh my goodness. So anyway, so let's check out this five of clubs. Like I said, y'all needed emotional harmony. You needed harmony there, you know? The five of club is a card of action and change, change in work situation, a change in social standing. It, it symbolizes the five fingers of the hand. It can also represent working with one hand or or making something. It could also denote exercise, physical labor, providing the extra effort needed to get the job done. Action, physical activity, the need for physical ex exercise, competition, a sporting event, a job interview, good luck, okay? It could have been competition there. You know, this person is young and Libra is seasoned. You know what I'm saying? They don't necessarily have to not be young, but they done been through enough to know you know what I'm saying? To know better. You know? So, just like, uh, no, you easily irritated me real quick. I needed that emotional harmony. And, and yeah, how about no? How about fucking no? So, let's go to the diamonds. Let's go to the diamonds. Let me touch this. Let's see the ten of diamonds. Represent satisfaction, success with money, financial security, a large sum of money, material wealth, riches, freedom from financial worry, speed, fuel, nuclear energy. Like I said, it came in fast and it ended fast. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual energy, flight, airplane, the wind. Do you understand what I'm saying? In and out like the wind. You know, this thing, it was like satisfaction. It was, you know what I'm saying? You did get fast satisfaction but as, as quick as it was in is as quick as it was out and the eight represent caution careful planning balancing the books financial restrictions the need um to curtail spending ups and downs of money management cycling of money tax planning number counting person wearing glasses watchfulness the eyes like i said as quick as that money came in with rapid or quick as this person came in with rapid fuel, with rapid energy, I feel like it burnt itself out real quick. Where you was like, hold on. You know what I'm saying? It was like, after the situation, y'all were doing too much too fast and it burnt itself out. And you quickly ran tired of the situation and you seen cracks in the foundation and you just avoided the shit because you needed complete harmony. You know what I'm saying? And or... <laughs> like I, I really I really do feel like this person came in and showed you really really quick that they reminded you of something that was a double edged sword and you were just like little boy I done been through motherfuckers like you a little girl I done been through this shit before I ain't even, it ain't even worth my energy working with you let me just go ahead and get you the fuck on up out of here it was a nice experience bye <laughs> one down for the summer like I'm sorry like that's literally like give me guidance here on this wheel of fortune. Give me guidance on this wheel of fortune for my Libras. You're the five of diamonds. Y'all like, man, I'm going to fuck up. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, my luck and my situations and everything that I'm receiving. You know, like... <laughs> Libra's on the receiving end of everything beneficial and, and luxurious. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't have time for this. You know what I'm saying? I'm focused, I'm focused on my blessings. I'm not focused on working on some shit that ain't making me no fucking money. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not even about to happen. So, let's verify that five of diamonds real quick. Five of diamonds represent karma patterns, cause and effect, magnetic attractions, law of attractions, thoughts um, that create experience. Yeah, thoughts that create experiences, charisma, animal magnetism, sexuality, personal space, local area, home environment, furniture, large personal possessions, property, speech, the act of speaking, an argument, a legal or joint case, city life. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like I said, this person has already been through this karmic pattern. Their situation is on the way up. But do you understand? It's like the law of attraction. Like that will of fortune is going on the way up. You see what I'm saying? It's going in the positive realm. So if Libra does not 
pay attention to the karmic patterns. They already know how that will of fortune can easily turn in the other direction. That's why they're not going to work on something that is not going to give them the, the actual, the full ten of cups. You understand? Don't give me no ten of cups next to no fucking tower. To me, that was just quick emotional fulfillment, a sexual and emotional fulfillment that was extremely temporary and was not really plausible in my life. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -mm. I'm not bringing no more unnecessary karmic debt into my life. Like I said, they were balancing as quick as it came in, as quick as they could took it out because they said uh-uh I'm spending too much time on this and this shit ain't about to add up to what I needed to add up uh-uh let me focus on my will of fortune going in the right direction and quickly stop working on this shit mm -mm. give me guidance in regards to I don't know give me some guidance right here to this tower Where is that the is that yeah the tower of the nine of cups and the four of, of, of wands four spears I mean yeah the ten of clubs it's just like I have so much new blessings and abundance like that chapter in that cycle of that chapter in that cycle of non-committed relationships non-fulfilling relationships and me avoiding tower moments. I'm done with that shit. Do you get me? This is a Game of Thrones, honey. I am done with that shit. Bring me the blessings. I'll work as hard as I need to do whatever the fuck I need to do to bring forth the blessings that I know that I deserve. Like, don't play with me. Like, don't play with me. Because, like, like this is literally Libra telling the, guy, uh, the retrograde, please stop playing with me. I've worked too fucking hard. Please stop fucking playing with me. The Ten of Clubs means and ambition achievements success in business social prominence the card of business and career it represents a specific business or it can denote the idea of business or commerce in a general sense it's also a card of movement of travel like i told them they're going up it could refer to a journey or more specifically a business trip a business move uh such as a major transaction, a business gamble, or an actual change in business ownership or location. Like I said, you might have gave someone ownership for a short period of time and you transitioned on. Uh-uh. You know? Changing and looking at how you doing your transactions with people. You know, and if you got to look at people like, look, that ain't the way I conduct business, honey. Okay? Because when it really boiled down to it, this is the business of my heart. I don't do business like that. You understand? I don't take too many risks like that. <laughs> anyway, it says it could also rep represent a trip. It is usually over water. It could also represent a bottle of water in all forms. A pipe, a swimming pool, a bathtub, a washing machine, even a kitchen sink. So, you know, y'all could have been dealing with a water sign. Y'all could have been dealing with a water sign. So, ooh. I'm about to skip Lenormand. No, we not, baby. Let's get into the T. Hey, hey, hey. Let's get into the T cards. What happened? What happens this August that causes this tower moment? It's like, y'all. <laughs> Libra said I was getting some head. Getting, getting some head. I ran down on the bitch. She almost pissed on the leg. <laughs> Hey, young, the music that be playing in the background for Libra be too funny. Ooh. Y'all, like, I had to whip this motherfucker's ass, okay? I am reloading in the snake. God damn. And in the lady. Oh, gosh. Really? This motherfucker has somebody in y'all house. Is that what happened? I feel like this motherfucker has someone in your fucking house, y'all. I feel like someone gets caught with someone that's not supposed to be in y'all house, in y'all fucking house, y'all. Because it's this snake. The snake is this woman. It's this woman. And y'all gonna, you gonna come home. 
you going your intuition is going to like be burning your ass, young. You going to come home and you going to fucking find someone. You going to find someone having sex or something. I really do feel like this. I really do feel like you going to find you going to find someone having some type of sex sneaking around with this woman. In, in, in this house. I'm trying to tell you. Like this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting y'all. I'm sorry. And just to clarify y'all. Because listen. Because we ain't about to play around. Because I don't want y'all to think I'm just saying this shit for fucking nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? The house of course. A home residence. A property. Domestic affairs. Familiarity. Family. Security. Stability. Settling. Harmony. Materialism, projects, inheritance, the number 11, the whip, okay? The whip represents hardships, argument, conflict, suffering, purging, abuse, anger, pain, repetition. Like this has happened again. This happened again, you know? Addictions, physical activity, sexual chemistry, passion, intensity, okay? It might be a big fight too, y'all. The lady, 29, you already know who that is. The the snake. The snake. Deceptions, lies, tricks, betrayal, seduction, temptation, jealousy, manipulation, disappointment, difficulties, distraction, loss, falseness, hypocrisy, indecision, being lied or betrayed. Sometimes this card represents the other woman. The other woman. Clearly, this woman may be, you know, very brown skin or tan. Uh, so, God, that just unnerved me, bitch. That just unfucking nerved me, bitch. And I'm dead ass serious. Like, I didn't get nothing else from them cards, but y'all gonna walk in y'all house and y'all gonna see um, this person fucking some bitch in y'all house. Or y'all go, or a man gonna catch this lady being a snake sneaking around and having somebody else in his house. And it's almost going to be just, oh my gracious, okay. Give me guidance. Give me more information about this, please. Clarify this for me, please. Give me more information. What are they going to find in this house? A gentleman. The ring. Yeah. The locket. Oh, shit. Okay. This gentleman, I mean, this, this 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 gentleman is like proposed marriage to this person, like either either listen, ladies, either this person is coming around y'all, this gentleman who could be light skin or fair skin. Okay, have red hair. Or, or you know, like for black people, you know how black people, they can have, you know, dark brown hair, but it kind of has that all burnished tint. Like their hair is like that. Like in the light, it has that all burnished tint. Um, this man is like proposing and professing his love and proposing marriage to someone. I feel like they're getting his house and this person may be trying to seduce this person with sex. And, and stuff like that but there's a lot of hardships and there's a lot of betrayal and conflict and stuff like that because this person is a fucking snake and this person is just manipulating you because there is another woman and you may walk in if you give this person the keys to your house if you let this person in your house if this person lives in your house and you think that you think that this is going to a level of commitment but this person it's that low that they would bring someone in your house when you're at work or some shit like that. Like, that's dead ass what I'm getting. So, oh my gracious, y'all. This is too much. Why do I feel like I'm in the fucking twilight zone right now? I feel like I'm not even... I feel so fucking weird right now. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like... I feel so fucking weird right now, y'all. Give me guidance for my readers, y'all.
you couldn't see the light. You couldn't see it. Memories of love. Like you, you thought that you, you thought that you finally found love. Like it's like you really didn't see this coming. You thought that you had finally found love. Yeah, y'all foundations and achievements. Y'all thought, y'all felt that y'all finally found love. The shadow, like so much shit was in the shadow with this person. Like you didn't see it. Like that's all I keep seeing. That's all I keep hearing. I didn't see it. I gave my power away. Financials and material changes. You just feel like you're just going through this shit all over again. I just hear it. It's like, how did I not see it? Like, how did I not see it? But at the end of the day, you did see it because you wasn't even with this person that quick and you picked up on that shit that quick and you got them the fuck up out of there. So, like, don't even beat yourself down about that shit because y'all jeeped the fuck up on a whole, like, real quick. Like, y'all wasn't even about to play about this shit. Listen, y'all just didn't see that shit. Y'all y'all felt that y'all finally found and achieved love. And that's really fucked up. And that's just like, y'all, that shit just fucked me up. That shit just pissed me the fuck off just now. Because it was just like, it was like a retrograde, psych your mind. Like, you thought you had it, psych your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, so much shit with this person. This person had a light side and this person had a dark side, which everyone does. But this person was a trickster. This person was a snake. You know what I'm saying? And this could be someone in a lesbian relationship, too. You understand what I'm saying? Because that there's a trickster and a snake, which is the lady. And then right next to it is the lady. So it's saying that the lady... It could it could be saying that a lady was a trickster and a snake. So, you know what I'm saying? And I want to say, y'all know this lady. Y'all might find out that this person is like this person... Ever this person that this person is sneaking around with, you know the girl that this person is sneaking around with. You know this girl. And they know you. And they know that you deal with this person. Bro. Power. In the reverse. It's like I gave my power away again and, and, and like now you about to have to go through these financial changes again because you thought that you had someone to help you and shit like that. Baby girl, don't even fucking worry about that shit. I'm about to go to this motherfucking bonfire deck. Let's get into this, man. Come on. Give me some guidance. Father. Clarify this spread for me, please. Was this someone, was this person cheating on Libra with someone that Libra knows? What was going on in this house? I need clarification. I guess one question at a time. I'm sorry. Okay. So, let me say one question at a time. Okay. So, look, I sound like myself giving people readings. One question at a time. Okay. So, did Libra know this person that this person was being... Does this person... Does Libra know this person... The three of cups. Yes, they've been out before in the social circle. Y'all know each other in the social circle. Yes. And there's definitely cheating. There's definitely fucking cheating. It's your fucking friend. Like, it's your fucking friend. This is your fucking friend, y'all. Like, I don't know if this is your close, close, close friend, but this is one of your close free, three friends. Because, like, for this person to feel comfortable to just walk in your house like that, like, this had to be somebody that you motherfucking know. Because I'm not just going up in nobody motherfucking house like that, yo. And in the ten of coins in a year. I just heard these motherfuckers did this shit before. It's like, ever you already, ever, this is one of the three people that this person has cheated on you with before. Ever you seen this person before in a circle, in a social circle, or you thought that this person had stopped fucking with this girl, and, and I'm seeing blonde. I don't know why I'm just staring at this girl with this blonde hair. Because it's three bitches here. But it's just like my eyes is going to the blonde hair for some reason. Yeah, I knew y'all was dealing with a water sign. 
Six of coins. I knew y'all was dealing with a fucking water sign. And yeah, y'all moving on. Y'all moving on like shit. You're not giving to this shit no more. You told the motherfuckers to get the fuck out of your house. You caught this person cheating. With someone that you knew. With someone in your social circle. Okay? Someone possibly with blonde hair. Okay? Blonde dreads. Excuse me. Someone with blonde dreads or blonde hair or wear blonde weave. Okay? And you kick this person that you were with out of your house. You're gone. You're not taking care of this person no more. You're not giving to this person no more. You don't want to see them no more. You don't want to see the friend no more. This motherfucker is calling you crying and just like, you know, this, this, and that, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. Y'all could have possibly been dealing with a Pisces. I don't know why. Even though I know this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I always feel Pisces when I see this particular deck. But, yeah, you're moving on from this King of Cups. Y'all could have been dealing with a water sign. And this is most definitely... This is definitely somebody that has been in your house before. You know them well enough that they've been in your house before. They have been in your house before. And this person has been in your house before and you haven't known it. I'm really getting that very strong, you guys. Let me, I'm sorry, because I don't, mm -mm. nope. Let me go here. Has this person been in Libra's house? Am I tripping? Has this person been in Libra's house? Yes or no? Yes or no? Has this person been in Libra's house? Have they had committed adultery in Libra's house? Yes. Wait. Yes. Like, but no, this is, this is a bad card. Do you understand what I'm saying? This right here is a bad card. This is not a good card right here. Yes, these people have been doing shit. And then right at the bottom of the deck is the six of spades. This is a card of endings. Yes, 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 this person has betrayed you in your fucking house, young. Let me read y'all what the eight of spades mean. Because I'm not even about to fucking play with y'all right now. Because y'all already know, I, I definitely don't play with my leapers. Y'all already motherfucking know. We're going to get down to the motherfucking meat and potatoes, bitch. I don't even play like that. Listen, traditionally a card of disappointment, illness... And physical restriction, a loss of balance, a lack of reciprocation, unrequited love, something one-sided, not mutually beneficial, physical imbalance, health problem, mental imbalance, a doctor, a dentist, a psychiatrist, a wound, a pain, insult, feeling slighted or snubbed or hurt feelings, emotional upset, reassessing one's goal, examining one's accomplishments, investigating or researching a question or a problem, a medical exam, civil service exam scholastic exam forensics exam or police investigation like i told y'all gonna go find y'all gonna find out y'all gonna fucking find out like like y'all gonna find out like i promise you that shit ain't cool right now mo like this shit ain't i ain't liking this shit mo i ain't even about to hold you right now but y'all gonna go y'all like y'all fixed on this motherfucker Ooh, the devil Yo, what I'm trying to tell you, Slim, this motherfucker was doing you Dirty Diana style. Dirty Diana, no. But you said, Dirty Diana, no. Bitch, you think you gonna have me bound and tied up and stuck up? I done dealt with your dumb ass last year. You ain't see how I got your ass straightened together last year? Huh? You think I'm about to play with you in 19? Bitch, don't even, don't, like, don't, don't do me. Um, you're not about to impact me and my family. If you thought you was, try again, bitch. Try, try, try again. Try again. Fuck. Listen, y'all, the devil thought they was about to come and try to attach themselves to you. And, um, Libra said, huh. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Go on somewhere. Go on somewhere. Okay? You go find somebody else to get stuck to. Okay? Your little friend that you sent over this way, okay, they try to send someone else at you. Because you got away, Libra. You got away. He said, Sabanara, Aviva Dechi. Yeah, spring. Uh huh. You met this person during the springtime. Mm hmm. And you are regretting that shit right now. And he was like, uh uh. 
Honey, you ain't last that long at all. Went from the spring into the summer, and you thought I was going to get dumber. And I said, no, bitch, get out. Get the fuck out. Give me guidance. And look. Oh, now, now hold on now, Libra. Now, Libra. Now, Libra. Now, y'all going to be just, now, y'all not going to be disrespecting. Y'all ain't going to be throwing shit all on my table now. Now, y'all ain't going to be disrespectful. Okay? God damn it. Shit. Y'all just, listen, I ain't going to try to put my shit back the way it was. Y'all just throwing shit all on. Now, I got to. Shit. God damn it. What the hell wrong with y'all? Y'all look, now, listen, Reg, y'all done told me some fucked up shit. Now, don't be mad. Don't be motherfucking. Look, shit. You done seen the devil? Like, what you mean? I'm like, okay, I got you. <laughs> Libra said, Reds, I'm upset, motherfucker. <laughs> Some said, wait, don't rush into it. Allow it to take its course naturally. Allow nature to take its course. It said, wait. It says, emotions are a natural part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you, you must let go of resentment. I feel y'all were triggered. It says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point on trying to change things that's beyond our control. Y'all already know. Listen. It says close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Come on, Father. New beginnings. A new adventure awaits you. Embrace it and live your dreams out passionately. They're like, listen, arriva dolce. Arriva dolce. It says romance. Cupid arrow strikes again. Look, right after this motherfucker, you're going to find somebody else. Arriva dolce. Die again, my friend. Arriva dolce. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out of my house, Oscar. <laughs> Get out of my house, Tyrone. Bitch, okay. I someone just said Tokyo said so. Who the fuck is Tokyo? What is, is there someone that watches me named Tokyo? Why do I keep hearing someone keep saying something to me about Tokyo? <laughs> like, look, Tokyo said so. <laughs> is that my spiritual guys ghetto ass uh, project name Tokyo? <laughs> Y'all, my spiritual guy name is Tokyo. Okay. Reds of Tokyo. Give me some guidance. Give me some guidance over this love that's coming. Ooh. What's that? The Ooh, the world in reverse. It's coming, but it's going to take a little bit more time, honey. You got to clean this shit up, girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look, Libra said, I'm, didn't I tell you I was leaving? God said, let me see you do it. Let me see you do it. Let me see you do it. So <laughs> Libra said, bitch, I don't look, you all right know. I'm breaking rules. I'm getting the fuck one out of here. This motherfucker gonna make me punch him in his throat, okay? God, I ain't mean to upset you. Hold on. Hold on. Just give me one second, God. Just give me one second. Just let me punch this nigga in his throat real quick, and I'm gonna be right back at you. I'm gonna be right back at you, okay? I promise you. Look, the two of cups. I knew it. Look, look, I told you. The two of cups coming to you. Some said, hold on. You better search back through that goddamn deck. Okay, this was the first card that flipped out. This the first and the second card that flipped out. It's going to be a little delay on this new love coming to you, baby. A new delay because y'all two don't even know each other. You see how they staring at each other like, motherfucker, do I know you? No, I don't. But you look sexy in the motherfucker. What's your number? Okay, come on now. Come on now. What is this? Yeah, God wants you to stop giving to that motherfucker that you was giving to. And not only that, you don't even want to give to this person. You just like, uh-uh, no, because you got me fucked up. Um, I ain't going nowhere with you. And right now, this person has you emotionally, your emotions distorted right now. Your emotions are distorted because there was a tower moment. We just need you to get your shit back in line and then we good. Right now, like the Queen of Wands in reverse, you about ready to bat somebody in their motherfucking mouth. I'm trying to tell you, don't be surprised if you, listen, I'm trying to, the Queen of Wands in reverse and you fuck around with Cersei up there with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Y'all already know y'all like silence and violence. I don't, we don't already, uh, y'all. You're like, you right, Reds. I just, you know, I was just trying to get my money and mind my business. I was over here being successful. This motherfucker won't come over here fucking with me. But you know how I like to punch bitches in the throat. I was just minding my business. Okay? I really was. Like, 
what's this what's the conclusion in this situation y'all because like they about to start punching bitches in their throat and get back to their money and act like this shit never happened and now i'm not trying to be fucking with libra because y'all listen i'm not going to jail with y'all libra i'm not okay i don't want to be no witness to this shit I don't want to lie. I just heard y'all just throw some rocks in somebody's goddamn house windows. Y'all don't want to do some, mm mm. No, mm mm. Y'all busting motherfuckers' car windows. No, nope. you out in the street. Tell my tell bitch, come in, bitch. You dragging bitches out. Oh, no, mm mm. I see y'all dragging build. No, mm mm. Mm -mm. And then you gonna curl your ass back outside and be like, officer, like honest to God, I was this is my house, sir. I was I was just coming home from work. You see, I still got my work clothes on. I got my nice business work attire on. I was coming home minding my business. These motherfuckers was in my house disturbing my peace, and I have the right to bear arms. I choked this bitch with my bare arms. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's go because I'm just not. What is this? Please don't let it be no crazy shit. 333. Three, three. Look, this motherfucker done took you off your fucking balance. These motherfuckers took you off your rocker. They stole your trinity, your trinity, your mind, body, and soul, honey. You done jumped out your mind, body, and soul, and you done put a bitch in a chokehold. I said, listen, oh my dear Jesus. Listen, you listen. They done took you out your zone. Okay? You told the officer, officer, I have the right to bear arms. That's right. I put that bitch in my bare arms and say, get your... Bring your dumb ass in my house, bitch. I will kill you, bitch. I don't need no gun. I will kill you with my bear. I have the right to bear arms. I will... Bitch, I just... <sighs> And then you like, no, bitch, I cut bitches, too. Just to let y'all know. I don't know who this cross-watcher is, because I feel like there might be a cross-watcher. Y'all better stop fucking with Libra. Okay? Okay? I, if this is Libra's man, leave him alone. Okay? So if you decide, slide, and you cross-watching, and you watching the man that you cheating with, and stalking the energy of his woman... Listen to me. I told you. Libra is going to step out their zone. And they ain't going to pick up no phone. They ain't going to kill you and they going to hide the body. I told y'all months ago that Libra is crazy. Y'all don't see how Libra be having me popping off in my fucking videos? Y'all don't see? Please go back. and watch. If you a new per, go back. Go back. Okay? Go back. Okay? There's a few signs that they are not to be played with. Okay? And Libra and Aquarius is one of them. Okay. 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 <sighs> Listen, Libra said this motherfucker had me jump out my zone. Father God, it's real cute. It was real cute. I severed this shit. I went ahead. Listen, I listen. I severed the shit. I just told this motherfucker to give me my key back to my motherfucking house. Okay. Listen, I went through a quick hardship, but you all right now how I bounce back. God, we don't need we ain't even tripping over that shit. Did all of this just throw out over here? Are you serious? Lord Jesus. Okay. <laughs> y'all really y'all this person almost really sent y'all into y'all darkness. Y'all were not enthusiastic, y'all were not excited, and y'all were not warm when you walked in and seen what the fuck you seen. You said motherfuckers got me fucked up and you grabbed a knife, y'all. I'm serious. Like, oh my God, I see this shit transpire. Oh my God. I, and God just told me, Victoria, <laughs> you are not dreaming. Victoria, it's not no secret. You are not dreaming. Like, I am not high off no shrooms right now. Like, I, I'm like... Because I'm seeing the visions of this shit in my head. Like, flashing in my head right now, bruh. Yeah, this... Yeah. This person, whoever's in that house, it's not, there's not going to be no support to save you. And I'm praying to God. Like, I'm really praying to God. Please do not have nobody in Libra house. Because if Libra walks in that house and they see somebody in their motherfucking house, there is not going to be no support. And in Libra, you're not going to have no support. Like, if you fuck around and go to jail, because remember, it did say, like, an investigation and all of that shit like that. If you end up going to jail in a fit of rage... You're not gonna have no, you're not gonna have no, you're not gonna have no bail money, okay? Greatness, 
You're going to be stuck in a gray area. It says depressed, detached, unemotional. You're going to be in that. In that it's like y'all just going to go blank. Y'all going to feel numb. Y'all not going to feel nothing. Y'all not going to feel nothing. Y'all going to go blank. And y'all going to. Y'all going to lunch the fuck out. Yeah, I swear to God, y'all going to lunch the fuck out. If y'all have someone in your house and you feel like they're sneaking around and they're doing some shit and you be wanting to rush home because you don't be sure. I've had that happen to me before I've been dating someone and I've just felt like I wanted to clock out her early and rush home because I ain't know who this motherfucker had in my house. I've dated someone and I've had that feeling before. Listen. Promise. Hitting like young, yeah. it's a prom. Young, yeah. listen. I I'm trying to tell you what. What I'm trying to tell you with these last one. This last one was eleven, eleven. A spiritual awakening. You're on the right path, and you've been on the right path. I feel like you know. I promise you, it's saying, I promise you, there's something hidden that you don't see. Because this, this hidden was in the reverse. There's something hidden with this person that you don't see. And I think this person is like fucking with your friend. Or this person is fucking with someone that you knew that they were already fucking with. Or something. Like, you need to... I promise you there's something hidden. I promise you that there's something hidden here, baby. But as soon as you get rid of this shit, like, I swear, you're going to get right back on your path that you've been on. Like, you've been on the right path, like, and you want to end this shit real quick, y'all. So, mm, 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 mm. Libra, y'all, this has been y'all's reading, man. If y'all want some personal, and if y'all are, if this resonates at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the share button. If this resonates, y'all drop this shit in the comments so I can know I'm not motherfucking crazy. If y'all been feeling like you don't trust a family member or a friend or somebody around. Somebody also that this person might be just trying to play off like a family member. Watch this shit. That's not that motherfucking family. That's not that person's family. It's not that person's cousin. Mm. If y'all want a personal private reading, y'all know what to do. Uh, click the about tab. Book it then link. Libra, I love you. We out.